Hello, and thank you for tuning in to today's demo. My name is Jeff McKissick, and I'm a solutions engineer at Harris Corporation. Today, we're going to be talking about MV's integration into Esri's products, ArcMap and ArcGIS Pro for desktop integration. Previously in our NV for ArcGIS integration, we exposed a suite of hard-coded geoprocessing tools using IDL and MV runtime. With our new offering of NVPy Arc, the user gets a Python package client library that is open source, allowing anyone to collaborate and customize existing features to meet their needs. This allows the user to generate an ArcGIS Python toolbox containing geoprocessing tools associated with tasks provided by NV Desktop. It is important to note that in order to run NVPy in your Esri environment, you will need to have both an ArcGIS license of 10.4 or 1.3 for Pro, as well as an NV license of 5.3 or later running on your machine. For installation instructions, I have attached a document at the end of this presentation with step-by-step -step instructions on getting MVPI Arc installed and configured on your machine. Once you've installed MVPI Arc, go ahead and open ArcGIS Pro and open the project template you created in the installation process. You want to then navigate to the project pane and then to your toolboxes tab. As you can see, you have your project name that you created with your MV template, as well as the MV management tools toolbox that gets automatically loaded into your project once MVPy is installed. The first option here is to configure your environment. When opened, it requires you to choose a location for your engine. For the, sake of, for the sake of time for this demo, I'm going to skip this step and move on to creating our NV tools. For more information on configuring your environment, you can see the step-by-step -step instructions and the documentation attached at the end of this demo. The second option here is create an NV toolbox. Go ahead and open it up and see that a tool appears with two required parameters. The first parameter is used to specify the names of one or more NV tasks to be wrapped in a geoprocessing tool. The second parameter is the location of where the toolbox is created. Today I'm going to create a toolbox with just a few MV tools, Isodata Classification, Spectral Indices, and CLAC, which is NV's Atmospheric Correction Tool. Click Run, and when a tool finishes generating a new toolbox, navigate into the Projects tab to the location specified in the Output Toolbox. This will take just a few seconds. If I come over here and right click on toolboxes, I go to add toolbox and you see the NV toolbox I created is right in the directory we pointed it to. Go ahead and double click on the spectral indices tool and a tool will appear with one required input parameter, your input raster. I have already preloaded some data in here. Go ahead and pick your spectral index. For the sake of this time, we'll do an NDVI, and your output raster URI is optional. Go ahead and cl click Run. This should take about 10 to 20 seconds, and while that's running, I'm going to show you just how simple and easy it is and comparable to NV. So here we have the NV user interface. Over here on the right side is our toolbox and our spectral indices tool. As you can see, if I open this tool in MV, I get pretty much 
the same dialog and parameters, making it extremely easy to run all your raster and vector analytics in one simple environment. I'm going to run this tool on the same exact task as we did in Arc. As you can see, it took about 10 to 20 seconds and it gave you a normalized different vegetation index of this Worldview 2 scene. If I go back to Envy, we have the same image and same data. It is also important to mention that if you are a user that likes to use ArcGIS models to do your analytics, that NVPy allows you to also include these NV processing tools directly in your ArcGIS model and seamlessly include powerful image analytics in your GIS workflow. To conclude our demo today, I thought it would be good to mention that we also have an offering for any enterprise users interested in this capability called GSFPy. The main difference between GSFPy and MVPy is that a GSF server is being utilized and wraps GSF tasks as GP tools instead of NV tasks. By wrapping GSF tasks as geoprocessing tools, ArcGIS desktop users can easily run NV IDL analytics on a local server or in their favorite cloud platform. GSFPy can be easily integrated with ArcGIS server to run NV analytics as web tools through ArcGIS portal or ArcGIS online.